I, no, no. The, the funny thing is, is that like uh, my dad, our dads who are immigrants, like maybe my dad wouldn't be like this. I feel like your dad might be like this, where as soon as they get into the country, uh, they're like, man, there are too many immigrants here. We need to shut it, <laughs> we we need need to to shut shut it down. down. No, they do. And it is it is getting way out of hand. The, the, the systems are being overrun. Mm -hmm. We're seeing... And and it's so funny because Chris Hayes had a had a thing talking about how all crime st stats are actually down, like the the evidence and the data isn't on your side when you're saying that crime is up. So they and they're using only percentages, right? They're using not, not raw numbers, ju not just only percentages. What is happening in the major blue cities? Soros run D uh, D A Soros cities. They're failing to prosecute a lot of these crimes because of all this criminal justice reform and they're doing it in a way to help their own numbers and make it look like crime is actually going down when it's actually not going down it's just being underreported it's not being reported at all so like you said like they're not doing arrests they're not doing uh any prosecutions, prosecutions. Uh, and and you're seeing the numbers come way down so this isn't true and one of the other things that they like to gaslight you on as well is that the, the Washington Post um fat check mm -hmm. the fat checker the Which one? Glenn kessler yeah the the son of uh or philip bump no philip Glenn, bump i think is just a, a columnist uh, uh philip bump is is a dumbass that's what philip bump is and then um uh glenn, glenn uh, kessler we, kessler is, is a son of nazis right yeah well not just a son of a nazi he is a son of a you know yeah. so it is he he came out and started saying that the uh, crime rates with illegals are down. Okay. All right. C illegal aliens don't commit crimes in this country. Illegal aliens are criminals 100% of the time. Yeah. Just by virtue of entering into the country illegally, that makes them a criminal. Absolutely. So it doesn't matter what crimes they commit outside of that fact. The fact is the 100% fact. Essentially is that 100% illegal aliens are criminals. Essentially. I think it's also important to note that Jay is also an illegal immigrant. Um, and if you're wondering how he entered the country, uh, he was smuggled in through a white through person Mary's, from China. <laughs> through, Mary's, <laughs> through Mary's uterus. <laughs> it's, it's known to happen <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> from time to time. It does. Once a generation, it, it happens. <laughs> but it's so crazy that, I mean, every every media institution that's out there is lying to you. Right. And it's like you say, you think you're going crazy. But you're not. You're you're not. They're the ones lying to you. Like, the reality yeah. is, as you I see, recall it, don't... on, was it Super Tuesday? Whatever the one of these primary uh, nights that happened, MSNBC's... <laughs> Rachel Maddow, Joy Reid, and some other white lady were talking about how um, one of the top issues for Virginia voters was immigration or illegal immigration. Yeah. And they were like, you know, laughing at that and thinking, oh, it's so funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's what West Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. It borders with West Virginia. Of course, they're worried about West Virginians coming into Virginia. It's all BS. It's just. It, Dude, a week before that. A 14-year-old Virginian was raped and murdered by an illegal alien. God. I, I don't even know. I mean, I know we're talking about how big of a mess it is, but it's it's such a... We can't even identify the problem. It It's kind of like that whole radical Islamic terrorism debate. Like, people were constantly... And I was... I, I will fully admit I was guilty as being part of, like, the problem. Mm -hmm. Not in the sense that I was actually committing radical Islamic terrorism, but I was being more of a lib about it, being like, why would you call it radical Islamic terrorism? That's, you know, that's Islamophobic. Of course, yes, that's... If you can't identify the problem, though, you, there's no way to address it. There's no right. way to solve it. Um, I'm okay now with calling it radical Islamic terrorism <laughs> because at the end of the day, like, these are radicals. It's not the entire, you know... Right, by not an, an identifying entire community of Muslims, but like without <laughs> without identifying it, it, I'm sure. Well, ten seven has gotten me to reconsider this, <laughs> <laughs> seeing as how many of them celebrated it, and I'm just like, oh god, uh, I uh, celebrated it, defended it, defend Hamas. I just it don't want to be seen with these people. Mm -hmm. 
God. It's getting yeah, it gets it's getting really um insane that they are uh when it comes to the issue of Jews, uh, I feel like mm-hmm. Muslims revert back to their natural like uh their natural habitat their primitive, their, their primitive state. state of like jihad now yeah. and stuff it's, it's ins- uh, yeah and because it, what's really funny is the reason why i say it is because like, like they revert american back to the crusades muslims, time yeah american muslims are far and away so much more assimilated and like americanized compared to and pluralistic British, and accepting French, of other people all that kind of stuff and then they have october do. october 7 happened and then they all reverted all of back them to- all of them started putting on kafayas <laughs> and they got their you know they got their ak-47 and quran and they're you know standing in front of their camera you know, exactly god it, and it was so crazy because a lot of them like we're already going toward um like wanting wanting to vote for trump well this is like anecdotal in terms of me um and and uh, the different uh, families and and people i talked to especially in california before coming out here mm-hmm. like the biggest issues they had was um the trans stuff mm-hmm. and especially the stuff that they're the gay uh, as one parent the says the gay shit that they were post that they were they were um, pushing. He's quoting. Kids. He's quoting. I'm quote. Yeah, no, I'm not even kidding. He came. He because this is the his, Uber driver. No, 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 no. no. This, this is, is a friend guy. of mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he he his son came home mm-hmm. and said, "Oh, uh, dad, they had like rainbow flags going out because it's uh, uh, Pride Month. Or yeah, Pride whatever, Month, Pride LGBTQ week. Month and stuff." And 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 he goes, "What? <laughs> what are you saying?" Next day. 6 a.m. He's at the principal's office, sits down with his son. He's like, what is this gay shit that you have <laughs> in these hallways? Oh. He's like, we're not we're not putting our kids to come through here to see this stuff. We only have American flags fl- flying in, um, in in these schools. You think you think I'm, I'm asking you to put the Lebanese flag up here or <laughs> post any of that kind of stuff? Right. They are not going to see any of the like, I don't want you guys um influencing them in any way with any of this type of stuff if if this goes any further i'm telling you because it was it was like the muslim community that's in that school mm-hmm. was something like 30 percent of the, the school the student base and stuff so oh, like wow. if, and he was like going to legitimately make that to zero like he would growl well, them all growl them all up get them all out of school yeah absolutely when it came to that issue and then also of course them uh all making more money under trump than what they're making now so they're like <laughs> if it hits them financially they're like fuck this i'm moving i'm from paying. the day he pull them all out of school and, and have them chant from the river to the sea palestine will lgbt <laughs> we kind of went off on the tangent here we were talking about immigration we just went off on israel and palestine <laughs> porn, which is the nature of this podcast this is what we do it's but anyways bring it, bring, bring it, it, bring it back, back bringing it back here yes. for a second i mean it's it's crazy because it, that's the same thing in in the immigration stuff we don't know who's coming through here right and we can't name the problem which is exactly where we got off on the tangent if you call, even even biden at the state of the union using the term illegal illegal that this lakin riley nursing student 22 years old who was murdered by a illegal immigrant from venezuela the fact that he said illegal Democrats were more pissed off at the fact that he said illegal than they were the fact that this Lake and Riley was murdered was r- murdered by an illegal alien. Yeah. And then he apologized. And then he, yeah, On the he, next apologized. NBC, he apologized. He's like, yeah, I regret calling him illegal. Like it's because bro, what, what like no one can honestly, like in the grand scheme of things, are, do you really like, it's like, it's like misgendering a trans murderer. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, like if they're like if they're like uh, charged with murdering them and the, or mur- if they're charged with some crime and, and they're you, misge- call them- you call them you misgender them call them a he when they identify as she like that's worse than whatever it is that that trans yeah because that's the real did. that's the real violence that's not the real violence. not the murder that's the real violence and they feel like if you do that and you dehumanize illegal aliens then uh, then the Americans are right. not going to vote for you. Right. And it's so stupid. It's, I mean, it's just the, the, there's so the, many. The logic behind it doesn't make any sense. It's, like you're saying, like the illegal part of it was more violent as, to, in their minds than Lake and Riley being murdered by an illegal. It is most ridiculous, sir. It is too crazy. It is. It's we're all going uh, bonkers. And, and you, you want to know how even more bonkers we're going? New York just issued $1,400 a month for illegal aliens as long as they 
promise to vote for Eric Adams. That it's only going to be used for food oh, and yeah. baby and baby supplies. Supplies. If they peak, you promise. You know how well that went with the with the food stamps, especially in places like California where they can use it on anything. You, you, I mean, in Big some places, TVs, PS5. I'm not even kidding. In some oh, places, yes. not even kidding. You can actually go in and take cash out for from your food stamps. It's you can take cash. Amazing. When I'm moving to California, guys, dude, <laughs> deuce, deuces. I mean, Jay, it's like go go places. Eight eight kids trading places, Jay, and 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 have at it, and have at it. 